The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to test out our configuration by confirming that our performance routing is working over our software defined WAN. So if you remember, our requirements was the following. We actually want the ability that server one using this IP address will be routed over the primary cloud over the ISP one connection, which is a two meg connection and everything else like server two will be going over this interface or this connection, the second DMVPN cloud. And we're gonna do that by basically all traffic from the server will be marked on the LAN facing interface with DCP AF21, which will match that low latency data class. And then we'll basically prefer this path if it's up and if it's performing correctly um, to reach the other side. And then if this service tries to communicate, we want that to go over this particular path and there's no QS markings that will occur. So really server two and the master controller should be routing over this interface if it's trying to reach this computer here. So let's go ahead, close this up and let's test this out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to test from server one. So let's go ahead and um, uh, that's the wrong server. It's the first one there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just ping the other side, basically ping this PC using that IP address, which I think is a dot 10 on that network. All right, so let's confirm that we do have connectivity with that. So that's 172.20.101.10. We'll do a continuous ping. Okay, great. So is able to ping that perfectly but let's confirm what path it is taking. And we can do that by simply doing a trace route. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do a trace RT to that same IP address of 172.20.101.10. Okay, let's not resolve each hop. And let's see what happens here. Oops, sorry, that goes right before, not after. All right, beautiful. Okay, so what do we see here? All right, so we see that our trace route that the first hop went to the border router. So that's the LAN IP. Then it went to 1.5 and then to its final destination. So what it did was it actually first went to this router on that IP address. Then it went over this interface to 1.5 then to its final destination. So let's do Another test, but from server two this time and see what happens. So let's go to that server, which is an Active Directory server. And let's first ping that system. Okay, so that's reachable. Now let's go ahead and do a trace route. Trace RT. Let's not resolve each hop. 2101.10. And great, so you see that it's going across a different path. So let's go back to our diagram here. So the first hop, of course, is the default gateway, which is the router, but it went across this particular path to dot five and then to its final destination. Now keep in mind, this is really important. This path can change at any time depending on the performance. It is basically doing a preference. It is preferring to go over the secondary connection, but if that secondary connection is performing really, really poorly, then it will route over the other connection. It is basically, again, a intelligent WAN. So you wanna keep in mind that this could particular, this could change depending on what the master controller is determining for those links.